Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me for another video. So you joined me on a rather miserable night. You probably can't tell by this video because it's pretty well lit. But looking out my window now, it's literally like torrential rain, heavy wind. So I apologize if you end up hearing it in the background because it's literally crazy out there. But I'm about to pack for a shoot day. So I thought I would grab the camera and vlog it because I am always interested to see what people get like up to behind the scenes and things. Um, so I thought I would show you how I plan and prep for a shoot because I'm heading out with my mum tomorrow to shoot some outfits. So given the current situation, I would normally be going to London to shoot, but I'm just shooting more local with like my family. Um, and yeah, it kind of, it sort of makes it a bit easier because if I was going to London, I would need to pack a suitcase. Whereas now I'm like just packing the car boot because that's where I'm getting changed for my shoes at the moment. Yeah, the glamorous life of a blogger. Um, so today's routine is probably a little bit different to what you normally would be because obviously I'm not packing a case so I've not really got to sort of worry about that but I'm still going to be doing everything that I would be up until packing the case. Instead of packing the case, theoretically I'm going to be packing a boot of the car. So to be honest, I will probably end up putting the clothes in the car tomorrow morning when we go, just so they don't get too creased or anything like that. Um, but I am going to be folding them into piles on the floor so I know what's what. But first, I would say the first step of my like prepping for a shoot day is to gather all of the clothes that ideally I would like to shoot. So then I just pop them onto the rail. So I'm going to do that now. So really by doing this, it just kind of allows me to see what I want to shoot, what I have and like what's new in, in my wardrobe at the moment. Um, so then I can just see what I've got to work with basically and kind of use those pieces to plan an outfit just because obviously I want to be sharing my newest outfits and newest clothes. So it just kind of works well like that. I was actually thinking the other day because obviously the weather's getting so awful at the moment that it's definitely going to be my first almost sort of like transitional shoot so I'm still featuring some summery pieces but I'm going to be styling them up with blazers and cardigans and things like that this blazer I don't know if I actually showed on YouTube yet have I oh no I have it was in my haul I will link it here if you want to watch it um yeah I got this from Topshop and I've literally worn it to death already so pieces like this are just great for this time of year because you can still wear like your cute summer dresses and things but just layer them with a blazer and you're good to go for like a couple of extra weeks <laughs> kind of like dragging out the dresses until the bitter end then i've just got this midi skirt here i did feature it on instagram was it last week i will pop the picture on the screen here so you can see it um i styled it with a jumper from Topshop. this skirt is from Dorothy Perkins, don't know if I just said that or not, um, but again, midi skirts are just so good for this time of year because they're kind of still summery, but then like not super summery and you can layer them with jumpers and things. I'm actually thinking of doing this cardigan, oh, sorry, <laughs> this skirt with this cardigan here that I've just popped on the rail, that's the wrong hanger, um, just as like a nice sort of transitional look. I have to say though, not shooting in London is definitely... Well, I don't prefer it, obviously, because I do prefer having gorgeous London backdrops, of course, but it definitely allows me to be able to travel with more clothes because, obviously, if I'm doing a shoot with a suitcase, I've only got the suitcase that I can fill, really, um, and still, like, physically be able to walk because, um, obviously, I've got to get on the trains and stuff, whereas if we're just shooting, like, from the back of the car, I can just take as much as I want, which is great for this kind of upcoming season, I suppose, because coats and jumpers and things take up so much space in a suitcase. So next up, I will just grab you off here. So I've got this box of clothes here that I need to sort out because I'm going to be shooting some content for New Look. Um, so that's kind of on the to-do list for tomorrow. So I need to sort of plan all that out. Um, and get that ready. So obviously I've got to focus on doing that for New Look as well as doing some for my own content. Um, but yeah, there's some really gorgeous denim pieces in there. I'm not going to show you, sorry, let's put you back on the tripod. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to show you these pieces like in detail. Obviously I'm going to pop them on the rail now um, because I'm going to do a video probably in the like next week or so showing, oh well, I've got about five different pairs of jeans from New Look. So I thought it'd be interesting for me to do 
a try on and show you how all of their different styles fit and kind of work. So yeah, that'll be coming soon. I just really hope the weather is kind to me tomorrow because we're doing by the weather now. It's just not going to be doable. <laughs> I think on the BBC it is saying dry, um, which hopefully is a good start. So I keep touching my hair, it's like doom hair today. Um, yeah, hopefully it's dry and I don't get absolutely soaked. To be honest, I don't mind shooting like in dull weather. It's just shooting in wind that I really can't stand because my hair just blows around all over the place and yeah, it's just like a non-starter really. So this jacket, I think you probably would have seen this in my come shopping with me video, but I'm shooting this tomorrow and I'm so excited for it. Let's take the label off. Yeah, I'm really excited to shoot this. I'm going to shoot it with, it does have a belt, I don't know why it's dropped. Um, I'm going to be shooting this with some like faux leather legging style trouser jeans whatever you want to class them as i'm actually excited really excited to shoot this out of it i think this is probably going to be my favorite one so it will definitely be it'll probably be on instagram to be honest by the time you see this i think hopefully if not it will be very soon so apart from planning the outfits on the day before a shoot I will always make sure to charge up my cameras and anything that I want to be shooting content on because there's nothing worse than getting to a shoot and your camera dying. Equally, um, having like memory cards, SD cards, um, full, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> full of space, empty of pictures um, is obviously ideal as well because you don't want to be running out of space. It's actually surprising how many pictures I end up taking it on a shoot day, trust me. It's not a one shot kind of thing. So once I have like any pieces that I currently have at home that I want to shoot on the rail, as well as any like branded content or sponsored content, if I've done any ordering recently, which I have, I'm just gonna pop these bits on the rail as well. Um, obviously it's looking like a lot to get through, but these things are probably going to amount to like less outfits. These are just all individual. Normally I will do anything between like five and eight outfits, depending on like how well the day's going. You probably would have already seen these in the haul, but I'm literally just unboxing them now. I got this pair of Zara jeans. I really hope they fit me. They look quite small for a size 10, but I've been like desperate for just a simple pair of like light wash blue skinny jeans. I don't know if I've already said, oh, hair on my mouth. I don't know if I've already said on YouTube, but me and my boyfriend Alex are heading to the New Forest at the end of this week as I'm filming this. Um, so there will be a New Forest vlog going live and I was thinking of what to pack and I was like, I just don't have any basic jeans. So fingers crossed these fit. So I've also got some new bits from ASOS that I haven't shot yet. So I think I'm going to pop these on the rail and see like how many outfits I can make these into. Look how cute this top is. It's got like a really cute detail at the back. This is definitely going to have to be cre creased. <laughs> it's definitely going to have to be ironed. So I will have to do that later, but I won't film that because I don't imagine anybody's interested in watching me iron clothes. So I think that's everything. Bags talk to my floor. Um, I. <laughs> So in the ideal world, this is everything that I would like to get through, but that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> it's quite a lot here, but for the next job, it's now time to try on the items and then take pictures of each outfit. So I, can you see the mirror here? Hang on. 
So don't mind my extremely casual outfit of the day. But yeah, the next job is to just come here and take pictures of each outfit once I've kind of decided what looks I want to do and what works well together, etc. Um, so then once I've taken the pictures, obviously I'll take them on my phone. I then kind of, if I want to like screenshot them and I put them in the order in which I want to shoot. So then when I'm out on the shoot day, I'm not there like, oh, I don't know what to shoot next because I already have a plan of my phone, of the pictures and the outfits are all like in order. So a little top tip if you're planning a shoot or like planning to shoot in colder temperatures or anything and you don't have anywhere to get changed, always plan your outfits so like you have a dress or something over the top and then you can just pull trousers and things underneath. That's a real top tip, like if you're just somewhere like a toilet or something and you need to get changed really quickly, have a dress on over the top, pull the trousers underneath and yeah, you can go. Um, and things with like midi skirts and things, you can wear leggings underneath because you won't see them. And if you have to get changed in public, always, I always wear like cycling shorts and then a bandeau like off the shoulder top. So then your body is completely covered and you need to quickly change your jumper, you can do and yeah, it's not going to cause any stress. Um, so yeah, that's just like a couple of top tips that just came to mind. So now I'm just going to pop some outfits together and take some pictures. Okay, so I officially feel like I'm in autumn now in this jacket. Look how cute it is. With like the little tied waist. Paired it with some these like faux leather jeans and some chunky boots. I just can't decide whether to have the ankles rolled up now. I can see this on the video. I'm not sure that's a vibe. So I'm going to roll them down. I actually also need socks on. I don't have any socks on and that's a bit grim. What do we think? Up or down? I don't know. This is why you always try your outfits on before you shoot because it's like the fine details that you end up looking back on like in a picture and you're like, oh, I should have rolled that up or I should have rolled them down. But yeah, outfit number one. I'm about to take a picture of this and then get through all of these. <laughs> I'm not going to show you every single outfit. But um, yeah, follow me over Instagram and you'll be able to see them all eventually. So this is the next outfit. I've got this really cute little cardigan from ASOS, some new look straight leg jeans, some new look white pumps, and then my Chloe Tess. I think this is just such a nice, like chilled out, transitional outfit. Okay, so I've managed to break this down to eight outfits, which is a lot. I don't know if we're going to get through eight, but I'm thinking we're going anyway in the car, may as well fill the car with outfits. And if we get through them, then that's great. Because as I said, Alex and I are going away to the new forest. So I kind of want to get ahead of myself with shooting outfits. So I've got enough to kind of keep me going whilst I'm there. So I have to worry about um, taking pictures and uploading them on the same day because that's too much stressful, too much stressful, too much stress for whilst I'm trying to have a break. Although I'm definitely going to be shooting content there because we're staying in the cutest Airbnb. Um, so yeah, you can look forward to that. I will just quickly show you what this kind of mess <laughs> is not mess, organised mess is looking like. So this is what it's looking like. <laughs> Bit of an organised mess. I've got two outfits there, then a number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven and number eight. So yeah, all that's left to do now is to pack these bits in the car in the morning and make sure obviously I iron them and things like that, but that's boring for the vlog. And today I will fake tan. I use the Loving Tan in dark. But yeah, I think that's everything. I hope you've enjoyed this little chilled out vlog style video and make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you very, very soon. Thank you.